Welcome back, Copier Fam. New video today. Do you have a squeaky noise? Coming from your fusing unit? I'm gonna show you how to fix that. All you're gonna need is one screwdriver and a little bit of grease. Maybe some bushings. Stay tuned. Okay, to remove the fusing unit, let's just rotate this over here, just like so. Just get you a screwdriver. Make sure you guys can see okay. Should be fine right there. All right, on the left hand side, we're gonna bring this latch down. Now this stops right here, so we wanna lower this down a little bit. So you're gonna remove this screw right here on the side. You'll see it's got like a metal uh, cord attached to it. That'll allow us to drop this down a little bit more. Three screws to remove the fusing unit. Two at the bottom. One on the side. Trying to not get in your way. And one on the right side there. Okay. And just kind of lift up and out. Just like that. Fusing unit is out. Now, I'll show you how to clean and replace the bearings. All right, now that we got the fusing unit out, let's go ahead and remove these three covers here. One here, one here, and one here. There's two screws on one side, three on another, and I think three here. So make sure you guys can see. And let's get started. So this cover has three screws. Get those out. Cover things off just like that. Let's go to the other side. This one just has two. They're the black screws. There we go. That cover should come right off just like that. Now we have three underneath here. And there's one there right here. All right, put that aside there. Now, be gentle with this cover. There are two tabs here, kind of here, or actually right there. And you don't want to break those tabs getting this off. So, kind of gently get that off just like that. Awesome. Just like that. All right, so zoom in here a little bit so you can see what we're working with here. All right, so you have these two bushings here that are gray that are on this side. This is what causes your noise. Now, that's what we're gonna be cleaning right here. Um, also, what you wanna clean is this roller here. You can take some rubber rejuvenator um, and clean this roller here. This you wanna replace if it's really bad like this one is. This fusing unit, I'm actually gonna be throwing away because the, the rollers are really bad, but I just wanna show you guys how to get down in here and get these cleaned or replaced. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm zoomed in here. I can kind of show you guys how we're gonna do this. First things first, let's get this spring off right here using a spring hook. There's two of them. Let's just get that off there. one and one on this side let me get on the other side better angle what you want to do is dig underneath and unhook them there we go just like that now that'll allow that gate to drop down then there are this little gear here on the side, on the bottom, with an E-clip, bushing with an E-clip, and another bushing with an E-clip, really easy. So just remove all three of those. Get in, pinch it, and 
lift up. There's one. Two. One on this side here. Get in. You won't be able to see them, but they're little little e metal eclipse, that's what we call. Now we can go ahead and remove it. So you kind of want to slide it left and right. Pull the gear off. Just like that. Like I said, this roller you'd want to replace. Clean this one here really good. And then let's clean these bushings really quick. And I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Okay, there's our two bushings here. Let's go ahead and just take a dry cloth. First, clean them on the inside. Just make sure there's no residue. Clean those. Just like that. You can even use alcohol if you want. These are already pretty, pretty nice and clean. Now, if these are worn out, you want to replace these. But these still look pretty good. And then, just a little bit of grease. You want to get... This is a, this section gets a little hotter, so you might want a little higher temperature grease. And you just want to put a little bit of that in there, just like that, and wrap it around. Not too much, just enough in there where it'll be all the way around. And that's it. And we're going to go ahead and I'll show you a little bit how to clean that cleaning roller. And then we'll go ahead and put everything back together. All right, so now what we want to do can see that I use a little bit of that and make sure you're wearing gloves and just get a rag pour some on that rag and this can take a while I'm not going to do the whole thing but what you want to do is just keep rubbing this back and forth back and forth just like that and once again this takes a while it usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes to keep wetting your rag but the toner that's hardened on this roller will start to come off and you'll see it. This might get you an extra 100,000 or so. That with replacing the cleaning roller and then looping the bushings to get rid of the noise. But you'll see all the black that's there. Like I said, I'm not going to do this, but you just keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. And it will eventually come off. So now what we're going to do is just go ahead clean this roller here. And we'll put everything back together and we'll be done. All right, and last but not least, we're going to go ahead and put the roller back on. So grab one of your bushings, lift this gate up, have your gear handy. What you want to do is first slide this in to the right, put your bushing on. If you can get it in, that's good. And then grab your gear while trying to keep the bushing in. Even if it comes out, it's fine. And then slide your gear on. Rotate it until you get that on. Good. All right, so mine's looking good here. Oh, sorry about the noise. Okay, you just want to get this where it slides all the way over. And it's in on the left as well, just like that. Not too shabby. Okay, then just rotate the bushing to get it on, like so. This is one of those things where your first time, it might take you 30 minutes, could take you an hour. Just go slow. It's not that big of a deal, but it could be a little tricky to keep everything in place. Okay, now that I have everything in, we're just going to get my needle nose and start putting these Eclipse back on. I'm going to start with the one on the left first. It's good to have some of these handy because they do fall. So, just put that on there, right on the top, and then clip it down. You hear a noise, that's it. Nope. Okay, perfect. Sometimes they shoot at you like a pistol. Okay, let's see if I can get the same look with this one on the right side. Same thing, I like to just place them on top with my fingers. And then clip it down with the needle nose. Two falls. After the third, 
we gotta switch the method. Okay, got it in. Here we go. Hold your breath. In it to win it, baby. Slide it over. And then the last one. And fall. Three for three, baby. All right, we're good. All right, now get your two springs. Put them in your spring hook. Hook it into its area right there. Oops. Sometimes I like doing these by hand. Let me get it in. Now you want to lift the plate up and wrap it around. place ready to go let's put the covers back on remember the two tabs go underneath the frame here make sure those go under first both of them then you can flip it up and put the remember never over torque your screwdriver excuse me more covers and we are done. done once again that's how to stop a squeaky noise on a Konica C754 754 654 C654 various other models and how to clean the rollers thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you on the next video